The first thing we're going to do is go through basically the fibers and, and the fabrics. The first thing within lightweight belting is that we will describe that generally as belting that goes up through about 150 PIW. Uh, medium duty is 150 to 250. Heavy duty is 250 and up. Uh, and so we are going to be dealing primarily with this lighter duty type fabric and construction. So what makes up the conveyor belt? The fabric, the carcass, this is, the, this is really what is the fundamental strength of the, of the belt and it will determine ultimately a lot of the properties. Within fibers, we have really a lot of choice of fibers. Polyester, uh, a very, very common fiber to use. Uh, we'll just call it E. It's the strongest. It has pretty good chemical resistance. And it's typically uh, non-absorbent. So there's a lot of places, especially in food, where we do not want any water to penetrate the belt and cause some hazards later. Cotton is a natural fiber. Uh, rayon is synthetic cotton. Uh, it's designated to see it's a natural fiber. It's typically soft and flexible. It has a lot of really good qualities that we want. In this case, if we're in baking or something like this, we want it to absorb moisture because that's critical to the dough rising, for example. You can get mildew, so you want to be mindful of that. Nylon is a polyamide. Uh, it has typically, uh, this says low stretch, but uh, one of the real good characteristics is because it does stretch, it has good shock load <coughs> ability. Something that you want to absorb shock. Uh, I had an application uh, many years ago down in Arkansas where a guy was training horses and uh, when you've got a horse on a treadmill, it needs to take a shock load. And so I used a urethane belt with a nylon carcass. And uh, if the horse stopped and the treadmill wanted to keep going, at least it could take the shock. So here we've got three basic fibers in this first slide. We go on to Kevlar. Kevlar is an aramid. Uh, we know about it for a lot of applications for bulletproof vest, uh, different things where it really does have fairly high strength. It has very low stretch. Another characteristic is that it's, it tends to be a little bit on the brittle side. Uh, so it does not really like shock loads and that type of thing. Uh, it does have pretty good uh, temperature resistance. Uh, not as high as fiberglass, but, but uh, it, it does uh, work and help on certain Temperature applications. Fiberglass, uh, fiberglass uh, as, as a uh, fiber uh, is spun and it's fairly brittle. Uh, it's usually impregnated and, and uh, coated to seal that. Nomax uh, is, is another aramid fiber. Uh, it's, it'll remind you a little bit of the nylon type family. Uh, and it does have very good uh, temperature characteristics. 